Hey guys, looks like it's beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today. Uh, we've got a beer uh, from Voodoo Brewing Company. This is Voodoo Big Black Voodoo Daddy. Now guys, it sticks in my mind that I have done a version of this many moons ago. I don't think I've done this particular one. I may have, like I said, uh, but it's been several years ago. And I'm thinking it was the regular version of this, not the imperial version of this. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and take a look. If I've actually done this one, this is a re-review for 2016. This was sent to me by Rico. Uh, Rico, thanks a bunch, buddy, for sending this beers. Uh, he has sent me two beer mail packages in two weeks. Uh, what an awesome guy. Uh, and the beers that he has sent have been outstanding. I got another beer mail package uh, uh, the other day and it was chock full of some awesome beers. Uh, man, he's a top notch guy because I know how expensive the beers that he sent me were. Uh, and then the box was loaded, guys. I mean, it was chock full. And the box was, I mean, I'm, uh, the UPS guy was grunting bringing it down the driveway. So pretty heavy box, a lot of good beers, expensive beers, and expensive boxes to ship. So, uh, I mean, uh, I wouldn't be afraid to say that was $150 to $200 worth of beers plus shipping in that box. Uh, wow. Blowed away. I was blown away, guys. And this was one he sent me several weeks ago uh, that was left over from the first beer mail package. So awesome dude, man. Uh, I don't know what to say. Rico, you blown me away. Uh, all the beers you sent me here in the last couple of weeks. Uh, awesome. Very awesome dude. Would love to share a beer with you sometime. Uh, this beer, like I said, it's a 12 percenter. I don't have the IBUs. It is a seasonal winter beer from these guys. Uh, says 12 percent on rate beer. Beer Advocate calls it 12 and a half. Uh, it has 12 percent on the bottle here and it has unfiltered underneath of it. Uh, and I don't know if it has a date. There's nothing standing out on the label. 74 IBUs. All right. It does have that on there. Two rows chocolate. Two rows chocolate. Rose black. Caramel Munich. 120. Brown. Crystal. 70. 80. Hops. OG. 12% alcohol by volume. 74 IBUs. Uh. And it's got our story. Enjoy responsibly. But it has no dating on it. We'd like to see a year on this though, guys. Uh, just to let us know. Even if it's 12% and it's going to keep for a long, long, long time. We'd like to know the vintage. Is it a 12, 2013? Is it a 2015? 2016? Just, just to know in case you want to do a vertical down the road. I, I got a 2013 and a 2016. Let's see how it changes. Just so you know. And even though you purchase it and then you put a sticker out, I bought this in March of 2016, that doesn't mean anything. Maybe it's set on a shelf for a year or two. Never know. You never know. So, all right, guys. Let's get on with this one. Food pairing for this beer. It says cheese, the buttery brie, good of already Swiss. Goes well with your chocolate dishes, of course. It's an imperial style. Meat to beef, smoked meat, game grilled meat. Uh, your typical glass bar, pint backer, nonic tumbler, fine, sidel, mug. Got my favorite glass, so whatever your favorite glass is, that's what you should use to drink your beers. Uh, it can be sold for a long, long, long time, guys. 12%. This beer keep 20 years if you sell it correctly. So, we got some pieces of styrofoam on the top, and I do not want that to get into this beer. 
Nice purple cap on there, nothing written on it though. See, you think it's going to produce a big head? I wouldn't think so, not at a 12%. Let's see. Straight down the center for the entire core, guys. Give a little bit of alcohol from here. Um, about a finger of head on that pour over into the light. Uh, it's pretty dark, guys. Pretty pitch black. Not getting a whole lot of light to it. Pretty typical of an imperial style. Nice uh, khaki colored uh, brown head. Right, creamy looking on top. The bubbles are kind of tight on the side. Let's get a nose on it. Oh. Rich roasted malt. Hints of some bittersweet chocolate. Toppy. Figs, plums. Wonderful nose on it. Smells pretty good. I got a hint of some booze in this when I was pouring it, but I'm not getting it now. And of course, it's 12%. You're going to have a little bit. It's hard to hide 12%. But let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Rico. Thank you, my brother. That is damn good. That is pretty, pretty tasty beer for a twelve percent. I was getting a little booziness when I was pouring it in the in the glass, but just a slight hint of it. Not very. Hey, for a twelve percent, I've had eight percenters that boozier than this. Very well made. Best tasty. Very nice mouthfeel on this. It's almost like it's got some oatmeal in it. It's got a nice creamy mouthfeel. Wow, very nice. Well, before I sat here and drank it all in front of me, let me take it back and let her have a couple of sips. Might fire up a stogie to go with this while I'm sipping on it. Go outside and sit on the deck. Uh, it's about 75 degrees out there and the sun's done gone down. Pretty nice for this time of year. I'm going to sip on it for a little while. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. I'm going to sip it on it for about 45 minutes or so. Very tasty. Very nice beer. Very well made beer. Alcohol is very well hidden. Roasted malt. Bittersweet chocolate. Some dark fruits in there. Caramel. Toffee. Excellent. Very well made beer. Uh, all the way this beer could be better if they put it in some bourbon barrels for a little while. <sighs> Great aroma. <sighs> Very nice. Finally chosen. Other than having advantage on the bottle, what year it was put in the bottle, it's a great beer. It's definitely an A beer, guys, to me. With the information I've got on the bottle, which not having a year or no dating or anything on it, uh, I would like to see a vintage. What year was was done? 2015, 2016, 2014. What vintage is it, guys? Uh, that's the only drawback to this beer. It's a great beer. If you can get it, you want to pick it up and give it a try. This beer will sell it for a long time, but like I said, Maybe you want to do a vintage of a 2013 and a 2016 or, or whatever. We need to know, uh, uh, we don't need to know, we would like to know when it was put in the bottle so we know uh, uh, if you want to do a vertical uh, side by side from different years uh, what it is. So That's the only drawback I got, otherwise it's a great beer guys, it's a very tasty beer. So Rico, thanks a bunch buddy, I do appreciate it. It was tasty. 
Uh, with not having a vintage on the bottle, guys, uh, it's a nine beer and an eight bottle. If it had a, a vintage on it somewhere, I would say this is a 97, maybe even a 98 beer. It's pretty damn tasty. Uh, without that information, uh, I'm going to give it the eight. Uh, numeric rating for me on this one, with the information that I've got, uh, probably a 93, 92 or a 93, somewhere in that area there. So. Over to Beer Advocate, the Bear, Beer Advocate says 93, I would agree with that. With the information I've got, I would agree with that. Yep, absolutely. And over to Rake Beer, Rake Beer says 99 overall and 86 in the style. So we got a 93, a 93, and a 99. Definitely an A beer, guys. So we just get them to put a vintage on the bottle so we know what year it was put in uh, the bottle, we, we'd be good. So, if you've had this one from uh, Voodoo Brewing, these guys are out of Meadsville, Meadville, Pennsylvania. Very tasty. Definitely worth picking up. I enjoyed it. Pretty damn tasty. A good beer to finish up the evening with, which is what I'm doing. Final beer of the evening. So, if you've had it, let me know what you think of it, guys. I enjoyed it. Pretty damn tasty. Definitely an A beer, guys. All right. Come on back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.